In these rotating drums, the sugar diffuses out into hot water, just like it has in my saucepan. What's left is a dirty, sugary juice. That's beginning to taste very sweet. So now I've got rid of almost everything about those sugar beets that isn't sugar. I say almost everything because in this, uh, in this dirty water here, it, it might be about half a kilo of sugar, but also there's, there's a few proteins and a, and a few minerals and little bits of soil that I don't really want. I can easily get rid of all that muck with the help of some milk of lime and a bit of carbon dioxide from a fizzy drinks maker. Between them, they combine to make chalk, which helps sink everything to the bottom. Well, that's settled out beautifully. The, uh, the chalky deposit at the bottom there has pretty much taken out everything else that was a bit sugar beety, and that water at the top is almost just sugar and water now. Next job, to reduce down the liquid into a thick syrup. Boiling's good for that. But as it thickens up, I risk it getting too hot and spoiling the sucrose. So I create a partial vacuum in the pan to boil it at a lower temperature. It's not difficult to make a kind of a, a syrupy solution, but to make actual real sugar crystals is quite hard. Now, it's a, it is a bit of a dark art, but I think there's a chance that I might have got that concentrated enough now that as it cools, it could grow real sugar crystals. So I'm going to uh, pour it off into here and leave it to do its stuff. Under a microscope, you can see sugar crystals appearing at the edge of the syrup. The longer you leave it, the bigger the crystals grow. I've decided it's best to come inside for the kind of high pressure finale of the sugar refining process. What I've got in here is an incredibly sticky brown syrup and in it has grown a kind of multitude of tiny sugar crystals. What I need to do now is the almost impossible task of separating the one from the other. And for that, I've built a centrifuge. Well, it's actually uh, the old food processor to which I've made something that's like a miniature washing machine drum. I'm going to put these on because the accelerations necessary to separate sticky syrup from tiny sugar crystals are quite frightening. Right. One, two, three. Oh, you can see the syrup out there. The syrup's been flung straight out onto the sides of the bowl, hopefully leaving the crystals behind inside. But look! It's going white in there. You see all the syrup coming out. And the stunning thing is, for all it started out as a dirty brown mass, the sugar that's left behind is almost pure white. Right, I'm going to take that part. I mean, turn it down. Oh. Hey, look at that! It's kind of just white sugar. That is my favourite bit of the process, and they have a centrifuge just like mine at the refinery. And this is it. Only a whole lot bigger and more powerful. <laughs>